Welcome to my movie configuring NAT on a Cisco 2811 router. In the essence of time, what I've done, I've actually laid out the network which we'll be working with. So as you see on the um, on your screen, you will see here we have we're using the 10 network for and that will be your inside interface, and we'll be using the um, 741.25.15 network that will simulate the outside interface which will be representative of the of the internet and we'll be using the 172.31.0 network slash 24 which will represent um, or DMZ I have gone ahead and have interconnected everything but for the um, the server which is actually in the DMZ because I don't know how many of you are familiar with with packet tracer and I just wanted to give you the option of seeing how I actually insert another card so right now if I should try to make this connection from the router down to the um, to the web, the web server there are no more interfaces right on the router and what I'll do actually I'll introduce another switch so to introduce a switch I'll go um, I'll just click on the um, the switch over here and I'll just use a 2960 it really doesn't mat matter which one I use but I'll just use a 2960 for now and I'll, I'll grab a cable from the connection straight through cable and um, connect from my switch over to my server FAF Ethernet interface and I'll go up to the router and look what happens there are no more Ethernet interfaces on the router so what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, go on the router itself and I want to add an additional interface. These are the modules that are available to you. We'll be able to select, let's say, um, just a fast Ethernet. And, and once you select them over here, you'll see the interfaces that are available to you there. You know, so we'll just, I'll just select one inter interface here and I'll just drop it in the spot up there. Huh, this is important. This is how real it is. Um, the, it, it's detected that the router is powered on so if you know in real life if you do have a router you cannot insert a module in it with it powered on so we'll have to power it off to power off the router we'll just hit that little power button there now we're able to drop our interface inside uh, let's just see this here All right so the interface is dropped in now we can power the router back on all right, and we could close that out. Now we're going to be able to go in and grab the cable, and we'll be able to connect from the fast Ethernet one zero. All right, so just like I've done the others, let me go over, and I'll just label that as fast Ethernet one slash zero, and that will be a representative of my DMZ interface. And you see these IP addresses, these are the IP addresses that I'll configure on the router, the router's interface of each network. All right, so, so let's get started. I'll first go into the router, the um, command interface of the router. So to do that, I'll double click and I'll, I'll just put it over to the side so you could see it. I'll go to the command line interface and this is the auto configuration and I don't like to do that so I'll just say no and hit enter I'll go into the enabled mode and go into the configuration mode after I'll do that I'll go into the fast ethernet I'm configuring the inside of the network right now so it's interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and I'll assign an IP, IP something here guys pardon me right so now the interface is on it we can turn the interface up I like to save so if you notice once I turn the interface up that interface came on that light went green so that interface is good you know another thing that I should have done was I normally label my router by default when you power the router on it comes on with the name router so I'll just I'll just name it to do that. I type host name and I'll just give it a name. I'll just say, uh, just say I'll just give it the name based on what we're doing. So, say, Matt, Matt, router, 01. 
All right, so actually change the name, and I'll, I'll save that setting. Now let's bring up the DMZ interface. Interface. Interface has Ethernet one slash zero. IP address is one seventy two dot thirty one dot zero dot one. It's two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. There is something going on with me today, I don't know. But pardon me. All right, and we could see that interface is coming online also. Now let's get on the external interface as we have we've actually decided before that this was going to be our fast Ethernet 01 and the IP address is going to be 7412551 as you can see on the network diagram there. So let's get in that interface. It's interface FA0/1. And um, IP address 74.125.15.1. A matter of fact, let me show you. So if you don't know, I just want to show you this. IP address. You notice I don't have to type in everything. So I just do tab and the entire word comes up, by the way. That's just what I wanted to show you. 74.125 dot fifteen dot one we are doing slash twenty four so it's two five five that two five five that two five five that zero and we do no shut and the interface is up now to be able to test our connections we'd have to assign IP addresses to these computers over here we'd have to assign an IP address to the server and we have to assign an IP address to the machine which is representative of an internet machine so you'll notice here I, I did label that and um, what I'll actually do is I'll go in and configure that that machine so we decided we we're going to be using one seven we're going to be using 74 125 15 10 so let's go in and do that so to do that we click the machine we go to the desktop we go to IP config and we'll do 74.125.15.10 subnet mass we decide we're using a slash 24 network so that will be 255 that 255 that 255 that zero and the default gateway is nothing more than the interface the IP address of the interface that is connected to the router in this case so it's 74.125 dot fifteen dot one all right and we did that so let's see whether or not we can ping our our interface that's the interface on the router to do that we do the ping seventy four dot one twenty five dot fifteen dot one and as we see it is working all right we'll do the same thing on our server here we'll go to desktop go to IP configuration and we decided that it was going to be 172 31 0 100 so let's configure that in there 172 31 0 that 100 and we'll put the mask in 255 that 255 that 255 that 0 because we're using slash 24 and we're putting the um, IP address of the gateway which is the interface IP address that's connect, um, configured on the router, so that's 172.31.0.1. And again, we'll just test for connectivity. To test for connectivity, we're going to be doing 172.31.0.100. All right, so far it seems to be working, no problem at all. All right, so if you notice, I had to make some quick adjustments to the network and um, in order for me to be able to, to properly explain this to you so you understand everything that we're doing, 
what I actually I went ahead and I I inserted another router which will be um, it will give you more of a, a true sense of, of how things work in the real world and uh, that's just exactly what I wanted to do so I've introduced another another router and there will be a new network that will be existing between the, the outside network and also a, a different network that's representative of the um, of the internet alright so let's just go into our router one and let's just make some minor configs change so again we're going to go back into config mode we're going into config t let's go into interface and that's zero slash one and um, this IP address there is actually um, it's configured already so that's 124 125.15.0 we could look at it we could just do do show run and when we do that it will show us the IP addresses that are configured in each interface and if we notice here on interface 1 that IP address there is configured so let's go into our second router and our second router we're not going to do the auto config we're going to go into the router itself config t and I'll just do the host name is equal to outside and it's router 01 I could make it anything I want interface f8 0 slash 0 and I'll do IP address it's um, 74.125.15. I'll just do that too and it's 255 that's 255 255.0 and I'll do no shut and it will come online. Alright I if you notice it did not come online because I deliberately wanted to show you when you're connecting two like devices for example a router to a router you'll need to use a crossover cable when you're configuring a PC to a PC you'll have to use a crossover cable so what I did here I connected a, a straight through cable and you realize that it did the interfaces even though it's saying up on the router it didn't actually come up right so it's not functioning so these are some of the little pitfalls that could happen to us so Again, we'll just remove that and we'll just select the crossover cable down um, on the canvas and we'll just, and now you see that the interface is up, all right? So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Yeah, this video is getting too long, so I'll have to break it up in different parts so you'll be able to see, um, see part two. But before we break, let's, let's go into the second router interface again. And once we do that, we're going to... Um, we're going to configure the, the outside interface so that now it's interface FA0 slash 1. And that's this interface. Actually, let me just do that. FA0 slash 1. And we will see that. And um, this will now belong to the one the 74.125.20 network. So the dot 1 is what I'll be putting on that interface. So if I go IP address, begin 74.125.20.1, and we're doing 255.255.255.0. We notice that it's coming online. We'll have to make the adjustment on the IP address on this host to now be 20, and we will change the gateway to now be. 20. All right, so if I went to the command prompt and I ping 74.125.20.1, once the interface is all the way up, then we should start getting replies. The interface just came up and we're getting replies. All right, and look what happens if I try to ping 15. Dot one, which is the interface on the inside router or the inside firewall, you know, because we're, we're kind of setting these up as if they were firewall, we would not be able to get a reply, right? We'll say timeout. What happens is the packet that's coming from PC3, it's actually getting here on router zero, it get into FA0 and router zero, but router zero does not know how to get back to the, um, the 
1.0.20 network, right? So I guess we'll just pause here and um, on our next video, you will see when I, when I configure the NAT. All right, so I, I, I hope to see you on the next video.